Looks like having the dance in the rotunda is a serious hit. Yo, yo, my amigas. I have the culinary arts class work on the appetizers, and then... Actually, we talked to Mr. Huffman about how helpful you've been, and your punishment's complete. No more dance committee for you. So ciao, Super Snooper. That's the goodbye ciao, right? Yep. Okay. We just need to double check with the photographer, pick up the ice, triple check the DJ. Yo, pocket! Nicholas? What's he doing here? Uh, your dad said you're in here. <sighs> Look, I know I don't have to be on the committee, but I want to. And. Hello? Huh. If I were evidence of a shrinking girl, where would I be? <gasps> I know Mr. H thinks I've been so great on the committee that I've worked off my punishment early, but I don't want to quit. I want to help at the dance. He wants to help himself expose your power to the world. Nicholas, we don't want you helping us at the dance. Just leave us alone. Oh, okay. Not the first time I've been unfriended. But I go to school with you, and we have classes together. I can't stay that far away from you and your friends, no matter how much I want to now. Oh. How are we ever going to get our pocket on now? Yeah, Nicholas could always be watching. Ooh, maybe we could hypnotize him and he'd forget everything. Well, if we don't shrink, he can't catch us. And if his Friday night live stream is a bust, then all those viewers will think he's a fake. So we just got to get through Friday night without shrinking. <laughs> Kudos to me for the exceptional designing. Shawnee, please double up the tool around the <sighs> mouse hole. It should be so covered up that the only mouse holes I see are in my imagination. Hurry, I don't have all day. Actually, this is the only thing in your schedule until the dance. Holy massive Mayor Bane statue. This was not in my design plan. Oh, it's just a little surprise I had made up for the dance. No need to thank me. <laughs> Did I say you can take a break? But Mayor Bain, I... Hand me my decree paper. Yes, Your Highness. Oh, your Highness, I like that. <laughs> By decree of Mayor Bain, everyone shall obey Mayor Bain's instruction without grumbling or face immediate retribution. That's the law. Yes, Mayor Bane. <laughs> Mayor Bane must have woke up on the wrong side of the bed. The way she said that reminded me of some... No reason for concern. That's how mayors act. Isn't that right, officer? <laughs> yes, Mayor Bane. <laughs> now, shouldn't you girls be getting ready? I want you looking your best for my... <clears throat> I mean, your big night. Magnificent machine. Oh, 
aren't you just a <laughs> How dare you, Rugrat, sneak up on the mayor! Grizel? Cold Rico! Not another step or I'll release the bubbler on Littleton. The bubbler? It'll lock the whole town in an impenetrable bubble. What? Okay, we're not going anywhere. Just put down the remote. Mm, no. Littleton's mine! <laughs> Hello, Littleton. This is a test of the Littleton Emergency Bubbling System. Please do not be alarmed. This test is for your safety and will soon be complete. That is all. Bye, Mom. See you after the dance. What in the space-time continuum is going on here? <laughs> it's not really a test. It's permanent. But that'll keep them calm enough until I can shrink them. Tiny power! Predictable. Gwen, phase two! Yes, boss? What's that stench? I don't know, but I'm feeling awfully sleepy. <laughs> I've been more snooze time lavender extract. All aboard the sleepy train. <sighs> <sighs> Just a dream. <sighs> Hello, Pocket. What the? Looking for this? Hmm? Oh, no! You can't do this. Sure I can. I'm Mayor. And tonight I'll become the Supreme Overlord of Grandeville. Then I'll really be able to do whatever I want. <laughs> That'll keep you inside. Now, I'm off to the dance to meet the Littleton public and shrink them. I'll be back soon, but to make sure you don't try anything rash. Hooray! Lila! Shawnee! Oh no! Come on, Gwen! Your job is to look after these two. Oh. 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 Aw, now you're gonna be my jar friends. Okay, Shawnee and Lila can't help me. I could call Grandma, but she's halfway across the world, and by the time she got here, everyone in town would already be shrunk. Nicholas is the only other person who even suspects I can go pocket-sized, and he's stuck outside. <gasps> the Littleton Tunnels. They go on for miles, all the way out of Littleton. There's even an entrance by my house. Huh. The tunnel entrance should be here. Unless Grizel doesn't know about it. Uh, if I get Nicholas to help me while I'm tiny, the whole world will know about the locket. If I don't call him, all of Littleton will get shrunk. Uh, share the secret, save the town. <sighs> Yo, it's Nicholas. I didn't answer, so you know what to do. Nicholas, it's Polly. Listen, I know I was a jerk to you earlier, and I'm sorry. It's because you were right about me, and it freaked me out. If you can help me, I'll show you how it all works. You can expose me, the power of the locket, and the case of the shrinking girls live on your vlog, and everyone will see that your paranormal stuff is legit. Now, listen carefully. Ugh, that looks a lot less painful in the movies. Now, where could she be? Nicholas! Over here! Whoa, it's real! So, you got my message? No, I just miraculously found my way here. Right, not the time for sarcasm. I just never had to react to a real supernatural phenomenon before. And I always imagined myself being really cool, but now I feel really not cool, and then- Nicholas, I just push that button! 
Uh, I guess here? Come on, we have to save Littleton. Nicholas? Um, Earth to Nicholas! I just got Earth to Nicholas by a verifiable tiny paranormal person. Ow! And now you just got pinched by a tiny paranormal person. Let's go! But I've never seen the likes of it, Mervain. It's a state-of-the-art bubbler, and you're very lucky I was able to procure it for a tiny town. After this test, everything will be back to better than normal. Little Samantha will be perfectly safe here during the dance. All right, you must know, you're the mayor after all. Okay, so we just have to get in there, get my locket, save Shawnee and Lila. Do we have to save Lila? Yes, then we destroy the bubbler and oust the fake mayor. <laughs> Is that all? I was hoping for a challenge. Ouch! Okay, okay. Come on in! Y'all are about to have the tiniest time of your lives. I'll find Shawnee and Lila. You need to get the people of Littleton to rise up against Mayor Faker. And how do I accomplish that? You have a bunch of fans online and they're all waiting for tonight's story. I'd say it's time to start your big live stream. <gasps> you saw my video? Uh, what'd you think? Well, apart from the whole telling everyone in the world my secret thing, it was cool, I guess. Revolution, it starts now, remember? Oh, right, I'm on it. And that was how I got my tooth knocked out playing dodgeball. Aww. Aww, you jar friends are such good listeners. Miss Gwen, there's a delivery for you downstairs. For me? <laughs> introduce you to Griselle Grande. Uh, excuse me, Ms. Grande. Yeah, what do you want, kid? See, there is no Mare Bonnie Bane. It's Griselle Grande in disguise. Give me that! Uh, if you're watching this, get to City Hall now! We have to stop this phony! <laughs> There's Griselle. How are we going to stop her? We have to put a stop to our party. There must be a way. I think we're gonna have to rain on this parade. Polly, where are you? Code Snooper Trooper! With that little busybody? It's okay, it's okay. He's helping. Get back here with that recording! Okay, Double G, I'll delete the recording. Now just give me a sec. Uh, no, it's not that one. <laughs> That's my cat wearing a sweater playing piano with her paws. Just give me that thing! <gasps> my locket! <laughs> oh, my polka dots! That was against the odds incredible! Gigi, up there! Up that way, Gigi! <laughs> There's no escape, Pocket! Prudence, Lila, where's that mouse hole? Now it doesn't exactly 
exactly feel like the time to be worrying about mice. Prudence was a locket bearer and she helped build this place. If I was building something, I'd make sure I had pocket-sized access. Like you with all the cool stuff in your room. Nicholas, grab Lila's hand. What? Why? Ew. Tiny power! This way! Quick, in here! Get back here! The word of the day is wo Watch out! We have to find a way out. Uh, amazing. This is even cooler than Wormhole Warriors 2. These are most definitely not my tiny secret passage running shoes. Oh, which way did they go? Wait, I hear something. It sounds like me talking right now. Grizel stopped. Lila, do you have some thread? Always. Mm, are you sure, Gigi? I'm mayor and I do what I want! Look! That must be the door that Prudence built! My job to save the day. Hands in. Go big, Lila, Shawnee, and Nicholas. Sorry, ma'am, but Mayor Bane has outlawed Dodge. <laughs> Officer, there is no Mayor Bane. She's a fake. I don't think we should be talking about Mayor Bane like that. She might put us in jail. She can't if she doesn't have the power. We have to rise up. Go to City Hall. Uh, it is nice to see the younger generation interested in civic matters, and uh, the kid's got a point. Let's go! And her name isn't even Bonnie Bane! That phony baloney lied to us? We are marching down there this instant! Let us in! Let us in! I have a dance to chaperone! You have to let me in or the kids will go wild! Let us it off, maybe I can redirect it. I need something reflective to avert the beam. Yes! Go big! Lock it! Let us in! Let us in! Down with Bubble! No more Bane! Down with Bubble! No more Bane! I bought my emergency can of beans. Let me out! Oh, 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 Stop eating those beans and don't something! I'm the mayor! You can't do anything to me! I have a very good lawyer! Hey, Gigi! You wanna take the beans with you to wherever you're going? We did it! 
Thank goodness that's over. Oh, not a hair out of place. <sighs> well, how do you want to do your big story? Do I just shrink and grow while you record, or what? Polly, with that locket, you saved the whole town from Grizel. You were the only one brave enough, smart enough, and, and crazy enough to do that. I don't want to do anything to put that at risk. Thanks, Nick. I owe you. But if you're ever privy to any reportable paranormal activity, you know, a miniature chupacabra attack or tiny kraken infestation, you better give me the scoop. You know, after you save the world. Ciao, Nicholas! The hello one. Come on, quick! Grizel Grande was charged with fraud and sentenced to community service. Apparently, the one thing she did not lie about was having a very good lawyer. Do you, Nicholas Wells, make the pocket promise? Yep. I'm gonna protect the locket and keep the pocket secret. I believe the littlest person can make the biggest difference. Eh, all right, I buy it. Now can we skip to the best part? Night to Remember Dance, take two! Tiny Power! Welcome to the Polly Pocket Ball Formal. The PPFF? The. Now that just sounds like a mouth fart. Ugh, come on, let's dance. 